Wack, 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 everybody! My name is Ruby Roo, and welcome back to some awesome. Oh, no, I can't do Scooby Doo voice, apparently. Um, well, that was success. 10 out of 10 with Ruby Roo again. Uh, yeah, this is Super Mario Galaxy 2, if you can already tell, and. This is a hungry Luma. Um, this sucks because I can't do this. Well, I can by cheating. Rick Lack Rap and Hungry Luma will be my stack of strawberries because those guys can eat. <laughs> Indeed. Um, we're gonna actually cheat this. Um, pff, I, I used to make fun of. Yeah, I used to be a baker. If you give me star bits to hold on to, I can help you share star bits with other players using other files. But like, so long, I can hold your star bits. I'll try to get more to add to your tool. Um, right now I have 3,670. Yay! Oh, you guys can't hear that. That was me accidentally. Never, never mind. I could explain it, but I'm not going to. Um, yeah. This banker toad works pretty much as an international brink. Brink. In other words, he pretty much localizes every single star bits you get, not only on the file you play on, but on other files you play on as well. So you know, you can transfer star bits over files, which is kind of interesting, I guess. It's kind of neat, actually. I kind of like the idea. Hey, you! Yeah, you got it. Star bits and a snack on. There's a seagull in my mouth! There's a seagull in my mouth! That seagull literally just flew right through that hungry Luma. It was terrifying to everybody. <laughs> um, I usually make mock or make a mockery of YouTubers who like have failed the requirements on TRANSFORM! <laughs> Um, yeah, I usually make a mockery of YouTubers that don't have successfully gather a certain amount of supplies in order to do stuff like this. Because I'm like, how do you not do that? If you're playing the game normally, I've never had a problem with that, and here I am having a problem with it. So, uh, I guess that means I'm not paying enough attention to collecting star bits. Which is a bit weird. Oh, this... I guess this galaxy would technically come first, wouldn't it? Honey Bloom Galaxy! Alright, I'll just hop into it. Get it? Hop, because Mario jumps. Haha, <laughs> I'm hilarious. I know, bubble beginnings. Haha, <laughs> instead of humble beginnings. I love it! It's so punny! Puns are great! <laughs> okay, puns really are great. Um, 10 out of 10 would pun again. Mm, that was just some very... Oh, I thought there would be star bits there. However, I wasn't prepared for this last time. But here we go, star bits! Star bits are meant to fly. I feel like I should have got more there. I got unsuspecting Goomba must die. We are gonna slaughter all the Goombas! Nope, uh, nope, no, no, that was not a slaughter. Go back, go back! There you go. Okay, there's a lot of secret passages here, as you see, like this for. Oh god, nope, that's not what I want to do. Nope. Um, if you, you can use these swings in order to help you get to these said secret passages, like this. Ooh, star bits. See, look at that. Fun, exciting time for everybody. Um, I probably didn't need to actually swing a second time, but here we go. Oh, oh, there's another secret passage up there. See, it's like, that's fun. I like secret passages, even if they don't really lead anywhere important. It's still kind of neat, you know? It's kind of neat up our radio. And, ooh, there's more of a secret passage. It's a secret passage. And here we go. We have beaten the galaxy. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, this is Super Mario Galaxy 2, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace! <laughs> yeah, um, oh, where are we coming to this time? Okay, 55 seconds. Yeah, that was weird. And kind of terrifying. Yeah, we can go do the Bowser's. Is, 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 is. Looks like we have a bump! What? Get ready for me! I'm allergic! I forgot to I'll swallow You're already swollen right up, you silly little titty tit. I do like watching him, though. Think he knows any good bee chicks? Like what? Stealing honey from other bees? I don't know. What, what, what would a good bee trick be? What, what is a bee trick? Is that like some kind of pun? A bee trick? Does that mean something in like a sport? I can, I can imagine that meaning something like skateboarding or something. A bee trick? I don't know. Is it? I don't know. Uh, where is Mr. B? He's somewhere. I'm a bee. I'm a bee. Uh, what do you gotta say for yourself? I bet you'd like to know a secret when we get going in the air, you can fly farther. And if you look at his teeth, it's a shame I, I didn't get this recording, but if you look at his teeth, ah, they're all 
have spiky <laughs> For how adorable these guys are, they should not have evil spiky teeth like that. You have huge antennas too. But look at the fluffy mane. You look like a freaking lion or something. You look like a Lannister. <laughs> Game of Thrones reference. Uh, yep. Okay. Mm, let's jump up here. And hop right back to it, shall we? And by that I mean... What? You mean to tell me there's more to this galaxy than what meets the eyes? That's magical. Alright, let's go to the little beginnings. That's my impression of a bee. Oh, you know what else I actually... Uh, missed was last time I recorded this I told a bit of a weird story it wasn't too weird I, I started to tell a weird story and then I was like maybe I shouldn't explain this weird story because it might affect people in a very negative way and what that well first off actually I didn't think of what the other like because it was some kind of tangent as well oh I know what it was did anybody actually watch Mega Babies yeah, that show with the giant, with the small babies and the weird grandmother with a giant Marge Simpson hair, except it was white. I never thought about that, but yeah, it was Marge Simpson except white hair. You just want to be my old baby, the buzz around. Ha ha ha! Get it? Because they're bees, so they like extravagant their zzzz noises. Well, yeah, so mega babies. I remember there was a bee episode, and there was like giant mutant bees out to kill everybody. And I was, should, you know what? I'm still debating whether or not I should explain this story or not. You know what? I'm not going to. See, the thing is, I feel like this story would be way too personal to explain. But at the same time, I don't really care. Like, I'm not a very personal person. Like, I'm not one who's like, ooh, I can't explain something to somebody because that would be too personal. Like, I don't really care for the most part. Hey, that's where we got the first star at. That's neat. You can kind of see it too. Huh. But at the same time, I feel like it'd also it'd be weird to explain, so I don't know if I should or not. Um, oh, there's a timer on this. Do you get anything if you get all these coins? Maybe a one-up, perhaps? Oh, 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 get it, get it! There we go. Okay, you do get a one-up. If you try to land all these berries without being B Mario, you just fall right through. And it sucks. Oh, oh, much like that. Oh, okay. Oh! They have a safety net. That's cute. Okay, and... They bounce you, like, it's really weird and sometimes obnoxious. It's a lot more obnoxious than helpful, but it's it's a rage, rage infested challenge, so it's fine. You know how it is, black and yellow, black and yellow, I don't know, etc, etc. Alright, so let's fly up here. Oh, okay, so yeah, Mega Babies. Oh, here we go again, here we go again, okay. This game really doesn't want me to explain my story. Yeah, there's Giant Bee episode, and you know what? You know what? No, I actually did finish explaining that, so never mind that. Every time you bounce off these berries, you actually recover a bit of fly magic meter thing. So that's a thing. If you know, if you. Oh god! Okay. Oh, don't bump into the freaking dude. What are these things? They look so derpy. Oh god! He murdered me and I landed on a wall. What? <laughs> I wish I had the ability to stick to walls. That would make for some very interesting life works and decisions and such. Alright, let's try this again. Except this time, with 200% less failure. Will that happen? Probably not. You know what, a part of me wishes I would- Oh! Oh, I was gonna say, did I get the common medal last time? But yeah, I did. I'm just really far behind. Ah, don't touch the bee. Don't touch the bee! A part of me wonders... Crap, where was I going with it? Oh, god dang it! Why do I always forget mid-sentence what I was just literally just talking about? How how do people do that? Seriously, and why by people I mean how do I do that? There's a star in the background again. Or last star we got, I should say. So it's like a crystal star now. That's like I thought crystal star. Hmm, I wonder what this does. Get coins? Oh snap son, how did I know that? Maybe in a past life I got that. Maybe, maybe. Alright, let's go up here. So, I graduate in a few weeks, and by a few weeks, I mean, like, soon. Really freaking soon. As in, not this coming week, actually, by the time you guys see this, it will be the week right before- <gasps> FUZZIES! The week right before I graduate, so I'll be fine. And I actually have another graduation to go to where I used to live. So I'm going to two graduations in, like, the span of a week. And it'll be a very eventful week for me, and it'll be fun. I like, I never noticed this before, but look at Mario's little wings. They're just flapping all the time. Look, it's so happy. Okay, now I understand why Ninten Nintendo Capri says so, are so happy so much. I mean, look at those wings. They're freaking adorable. 
You're v <laughs> kind of ridiculous looking, actually. Alright, let's jump up here. Oh, there's there are bits. I can't even act like I'm surprised because I saw all these before. See, we already got 100 star bits. If I actually knew how to play this game, I would have probably got these a long time ago. Uh, I, I mean, if I actually, yeah, if I actually was paying attention to this game, I'd probably have enough star bits for the Hungry Loom a long time ago. Quick, please get these star bits. Sheesh. Yay, magic times. All right, get that one here. There we go. Oh no, nope. no. All right, all right. I like how they like, switch the camera angle to like make. What the hell is that? Okay, that is a really weird phallic looking thing. If I ever saw one. Yo, seriously, what is that? Disgusting. Despicable. Despicable me. If you land on these flyers, they don't like it very much. They're like, ah! And they try to eat you. Oh, and that spike plant almost also got me. I was not paying attention. Oh, nope. Oh, can't touch this. Oh, God, there's no way! No! I believe. Oh, yep. Whether you step on it as Mario or B Mario, it actually doesn't change its effect, which is interesting, to say the least. And also, to say the most, don't you dare touch me! Alright. Okay, coins actually also grant you some fly meter magic. So, you know, in case you need some fly meter magic. Whoa, look at these floating clouds and these derpy little helmet dudes. Okay, there we go. And without further ado, let's get the star! Yeah! BOOM! That's how we touch stars and where I come from! <laughs> That's supposed to be our Herbert joke from Family Guy. I don't know how well it went, you tell me. Okay. So, with that, we got our 20th star. That means we're one... <laughs> one sixth of the game. That took a bit too much time. And then one twelfth if you count all the green stars. Oops, I, I freaking spelled it. Anyways! Oh, we got a mail. We got a mail toad. What if you withdraw? Star bits. Whenever you do certain st star bit conversions with this guy, he does certain things. I guess when you withdraw star bits, he takes out a spear and a shield. I don't understand why either. We're gonna pretend it makes sense. <laughs> Mario, I have a letter for you. Better. Certificate of commendation. Wow. Even we couldn't get to the star in Honey Bloom Galaxy. This award for your bravery. Please accept this mushroom, honeybee. Thanks, Mr. Honeybee. That's splendid. There was a one up mushroom attached to her! Okay, so that's great. So, without further ado, we're gonna stand on this compass. This is a compass? That is a compass, too, or the North Star. It's a North Star pattern, that's interesting. Huh. Well, uh, if you enjoyed this episode, feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. My name's Chris, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Speaking impediments, how do they work? Goodbye.